Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot, here to bring you a special bonus reading for the channel for the day commencing for February 2nd, 2022. We have that 22222 two, two, two going on. <clears throat> Might want to Google the angel number 222 two, two, or 22222, two, two, two. <laughs> all five twos. <clears throat> Actually, no, wait. Yeah, five twos. This bonus reading will be on the energy of this new moon in the sign of Aquarius. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the reading, shall we? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Okay. <clears throat> and rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number two on the roll of the dice. We could see the High Priestess card, possibly the Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords I'm seeing in my mind's eye. <clears throat> Power of number 12. We could see the Hanged Man card kick in with the power of number two and two. Um, you could be dealing with. A Aquarius or a Pisces throughout the month of February with the power of number 12. You could be dealing straight up with a Pisces. Also with number 12, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn throughout the month of December. Power of number one. You could be dealing straight up with a Gemini if the Magician card makes its presence known. However, any of the Aces could kick in. I am seeing the power of number 11 in there as well. You could be dealing with our astrological next door neighbor, Libra. So the Justice card, and yes, a lot of you Scorpios were born in the month of November. However, you could also be dealing with the Sagittarius born at the latter part of November. It's interesting. I have a 2, 12, 1, and it's like there's a breakup. <clears throat> there's a breakup in the energy of the numbers because you add that one to the other two would bring me to a mirroring effect of 1212. 12. Some of you may want to research the number or Google the angel number 1212. 12. Um, I think it has something to do with Archangel Michael, if I'm not mistaken. So, But it looks like we are going to the power of number 15. With the power of number 5 out of the 15, you could also be dealing with a Taurus and or a Gemini throughout the month of May. So we could see the Hierophant. I am picking up the Five of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Five of Wands as well. And with the number 15, you could also be dealing... <clears throat> With a Capricorn, maybe more specifically born on January 15th. You could be a Scorpio born on November 11th. Dealing with a Pisces born on March 12th. Or a Sagittarius born on December 12th. A Capricorn born on that cusp line <clears throat> of December 21st. So into the winter solstice, dealing with a Aquarius born on February 2nd. Could be dealing with a Taurus born on May 5th. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Power of number 15. All right. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. In regards to this new moon in the sign of Aquarius for the day commencing for between February 1st and actually February 3rd. So the, the new moon lasts for three days. Okay. So you have like 
three days prior to the new moon, three days after. But technically, it was on the first, the first of February, so first, second, and third. What do my beautiful Scorpios need to know about this new moon in the sign of Aquarius, and how can they benefit? From the energy or any messages that they need to know what's going on mm. the king of wands somebody is passionately thinking about you scorpio male or female does not matter you could be dealing more specifically with a fire sign aries leo and or sagittarius mm. somebody's somebody's in their feelings passionately towards you scorpio Ooh, somebody here sees you as marriage material or they are viewing you from afar, Scorpio, and watching you boss up or level up. But there's that five of cups. Somebody's got guilt, remorse, regret, I feel, over the past. Why is that? Mm, somebody's in hermit mode. You could be dealing straight up with a Virgo or a Libra throughout the month of September. Somebody's regretting their actions, but yet at the same time, they still feel very passionate about you. Some of you are also trying to balance out your masculine and your feminine energies to go after and get what you want. There could be some major projects in the month of February of 2022 that you're going to implement throughout this month, Scorpio, that could garner you some form of attention or it could bring you in you know, some form of additional support income provided and based off of your own actions because the King of Wands is somebody who works hard, plays hard, okay? Going the distance, 10Xing it, 10 times fold. This is what I keep hearing off of the King of Wands. Being a racehorse with blindfolds on, just going the distance. Oh, I saw it in my mind's eye. So appropriate. Sign of Aquarius coming in through the star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius born on February 17th for some of you. There's going to be a healing, cleansing, and renewal while we're going through this waxing moon phase so from the new moon to the full moon now we're going to be going into things that are on the grow and expansion okay a lot of you guys are meant to be in the spotlight some of you guys are definitely entrepreneurs have a product or a service or something that you're getting up and running or something that has already been established Somebody sees you also rising to the top, Scorpio, even if you haven't quite gotten to where it is that you really want to be. But when that star card kicks in, you're meant to be known. Your name is meant to be known or known for what it is that you do. You're meant to change the world. If you've got something to offer, some of you guys have a social media platform. Maybe you advertise on YouTube. It could be TikTok, Snapchat. Facebook. Some of you guys may have a, a Facebook business page, um, your own website, or you're building up a website in the month of February. I'm hearing marketing, promoting, campaigning. Somebody's a lawyer. I don't know if somebody's going to the court system this month. You could be trademarking or coming into maybe you're a sole proprietor, an LLC, or trademarking something. Somebody also works in the car business, the car industry, car salesman, or you're a, a CFO, chief financial officer of a sales um, for a car dealership. Picking up Arizona energy again. In Tennessee, here in the United States. This is kind of an odd message, but why not? Somebody wants to go on an Alaskan cruise. I've been thinking about, or it's like Vancouver. 
Vancouver area and um because I, I heard Juno, Juno, Alaska. That's crazy. It is part of the United States though, not Vancouver, but Alaska. But something about Vancouver. Washington State, somebody likes the Twilight movies. Is it Edward and Bella? Picking that up. It's kind of odd. Kind of odd messages. Yeah, they keep saying, the spirits keep saying, go the distance, you guys. Don't stop. Pursuit of Happiness. Isn't that a movie? The Pursuit of Happiness? Mm-hmm. Somebody's admiring you. Somebody's admiring your... Whatever it is that you're doing, Scorpio, some of you guys have made a final decision in your mind to get back to the gym. Working in on your body. Some of you have contemplated turning into a vegetarian. Maybe not quite vegan, but possibly a vegetarian or adding more vegetarian entrees into your, into your daily routine. Somebody definitely loves oatmeal with blueberries. Mmm. Picking up lemonade. Somebody's waiting for the summertime. Somebody's anxious to get out of the winter and into the summertime. Wow, a lot of channeling. I'm picking up just all these like random messages that just like <laughs> just come after me. Um, the star card. There's some. Uh, some of you maybe contemplating uh, taking an online gemstone. Uh, crystal course some of you are learning about crystals or have a fair knowledge of your basic crystals like rose quartz amethyst tiger's eye black onyx black tourmaline selenite lapis lapis lazuli uh, malachite somebody was thinking about going to a metaphysical gift shop today somebody could be picking up an evil eye bracelet Somebody has wind chimes or had a wind chime near their front door or in their house. Like a little bell, you know, but it's it's a wind chime. Somebody needs to do the dishes or load up their dishwasher. Mm. There's paperwork. I don't know if this is because of taxes, people putting together their taxes. Could be. Somebody's taking like a stack of papers and kind of like straightening them out. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody owns an excessive amount of books. Somebody has a, a cookbook fetish. Ha! Huh. Love going into Barnes and Noble. Somebody's addicted to Starbucks. Mmm. That gets expensive. <laughs> Somebody likes a tall latte. Or every now and then gets the, what is it, the venti? The venti, the tall, the tall one. Somebody prefers soy milk versus regular milk. This person I'm picking up also too. Somebody specific person. There's this anxiousness I'm picking up because I'm like I'm seeing the Knight of Swords in my mind's eye. Um, they really want to be with you. For a lot of them, they want to be with you for Valentine's Day. But they're dealing with this wretched, for some of them, this wretched karmic. Some of you could have had an anniversary on Valentine's Day. I just picked up somebody uses Dove Soap. Message from the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some form of wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. you got some wish fulfillment coming in the month of February of 2022. So count your blessings. That's what I heard. Count your blessings instead of sheep. Count your blessings. Somebody has a Shetland sheepdog. Oh, 
What is this wish fulfillment? Could be happening on February 9th for some of you. Why is there wish fulfillment? It seems to me that somebody's getting out of in out of an imbalance environment. So I'm picking up maybe you're moving, Scorpio. Maybe some of you have chosen to move or sell your house in the month of February. Could be juggling finances, but you're not going to be juggling finances anymore. So you could be coming into some kind of wish fulfillment when it comes to financial stability or structure. Or this could be the tax energy I'm picking up. Waiting for, for those of you who filed taxes and all of that. Waiting for hopefully some kind of a return, which would give you a boost. Yes, that's one thing. However, I'm picking up more of an environment. It could very well be true that some of you guys are shifting the energy within your home life in general. You may not exactly be moving, but I am picking up some kind of rearrangement of furniture or somebody moved their couch from one side of the room to the next. Somebody's thinking about picking up like a, an ornate type of lamp. It's just like jazzing up. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. It's like they're jazz, somebody's jazzing up their house or reevaluating some of the things that are in a, um, your house. So, so I just heard spirit say, get rid of the clutter, you guys. Get rid of as much clutter as you possibly can so that you can stay focused on your wishes, dreams, and goals right now. Message from the star, some kind of accolade, Scorpio, or you're going to be rising to the top or you're daydreaming about rising to the top. You're going to use a lot of your manifestation skills within the month of February of 2022. There could be a lot of Piscean energy coming in as well because Pisces energy is ruled by the planet Neptune and Neptune is the planet of intuition. Some of you have been doing those guided meditations to open up your crown chakra and your third eye chakra to start getting more and more and more spiritual downloads to help guide you to be able to connect with the other side. But there's some kind of recognition or achievement or maybe you're going to post maybe a couple achievements this month, whether it's on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. It could be marketing, promoting something that is of importance to you, Scorpio. <clears throat> Message from the Six of Wands. Yeah, you. some of you guys are getting mental clarity. And I also feel that somebody, yeah, the, you've got, there's two people here also too, Scorpio. There's two, specifically, you, some of you guys could be in the same-sex relationship or were in a same-sex relationship. Somebody's... Um, person I feel is watching somebody like a hawk right now or watching somebody rise to the top I'm kind of getting like this wow factor I'm so happy this star card came out I really wanted that to happen because it's just mm, it's so appropriate okay <clears throat> Somebody may have to deal with a lawyer <clears throat> this month, in the month of February, or have to go to the court system because the King of Swords can represent like a governmental official. Maybe some of you guys are going to court if it's in regards to like custody, custody or money. I feel like something here is going to rule in somebody's favor. Message from the King of Swords. What is this? Somebody could be going through a split or you could find out on social media that maybe your specific person, Scorpio, broke up. Or you could find out through the community or through mutual friends or acquaintances in the month of February that somebody went through a breakup. Or it could be some of you guys are manifesting for this person, this your specific person to break up with a third party. Yeah, somebody here wants to return back to you, Scorpio, and see you face to face. Soulmate energy coming in too. 
Somebody who's got guilt, remorse, regret for how they treated you before in the past. Message from the Two of Cups. Yeah, see, they see you standing all single and confident and self-assured, Scorpio. You're building and working in on your financial empire, getting more money, thinking of new ways to create and generate money as well. A lot of you guys, like it said, you're either like a racehorse with blinders on right now or you're staying focused like a hawk. I'm picking up, I heard musical instruments, so some of you guys are in the music industry. You could also be dealing with a celebrity more specifically that is in the spotlight that could be going through a breakup or we'll find out that certain celebrities are going to go through a breakup in the month of February. That could very well happen. Who or what is the King of Wands? Ah, somebody that you feel that you could be on guard with right now, Scorpio, seven of wands, you're protecting your heart chakra or this connection between you and this person is spiritually protected or this person is feeling highly protective over you. Maybe because you're getting, you know, for some of you guys could be getting attention from other people. So somebody could be feeling very territorial. I'm picking this up. Ooh, somebody's jealous. Somebody is jealous that you're, yeah, behind the scenes, the moon card. Here's a, here's a full moon energy. Technically, we're not in a full moon. Okay, we would be, I would consider the moon in the reverse, like the new moon, because it would be like a blackout moon. So... Somebody's jealous that you could be getting attention from other people. And, and for some of you, it's because you have been focusing in on yourself and going towards your creative pursuits right now. You could have been giving this person time and energy and attention before in the past. But the way that they did you dirty before in the past, Scorpio, now it's like, uh, I, I feel like with that three of swords, because I'm seeing like the wheel of fortune in my mind's eye. What goes around comes around. Your person's name could start with the letter T, the letter A, the letter R, or the letter O within their name, his or her name. Mm. What is this? Seven of Wands. Somebody's feeling, yeah, somebody's feeling territorial because they want to return back to you. You know, it was interesting when I was shuffling the deck of, couple cards ago this wanted to kind of pop out a bit yeah somebody blast from the past somebody from the past is watching you scorpio oh yeah it is the truth ace of, um i was gonna say ace of swords it's the ace of wands yeah somebody wants to have a new beginning they're sexually driven towards you too and they could be gearing up to walk away from something or someone come in and bring you some kind of an offer after they get kicked to the curb or they, you know, basically kick the karmic's ass to the curb. Wanting to make some kind of plan. Some of them could be reaching out to you in the next two weeks. Want to take a short sabbatical with you. The sun card. Some of you guys are dealing with them hot and sexy Leos. Ooh. Wow. And it could very well be true. If you are specifically dealing with a Leo, they could have gotten backstabbed and betrayed. And here you are, Scorpio. Rising to the top, being the phoenix, rising up out of the ashes. But somebody here has marriage on the brain as well, or commitment. Um, wow. Somebody is protective of a past connection, or you could have known this person since you were a child, or a teenager, or high school, or college. Could be somebody that you also met through friends or family, or this person could be like a, a family friend that you had an interest in. Um, let me see what the Six of Cups is bringing in. Somebody from the past is returning for some of you guys in the month of February. Yeah, they're... Are you kidding me right now? This person's got some... I feel like this person wants to do some love bombing. Whew! It's getting hot in here. And they just might want you to take your clothes off, Scorpio. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're coming in with some kind of a solid offer, too. Love and money for some of them. Oof. Oh, 
OMG. Lover's card. Some of you guys are dealing with Geminis and or Cancerians throughout the month of June. Um, <laughs> ah, somebody is very protective of your energy, Scorpio, because you're attractive, you're smart, you're handsome, you're beautiful, you're intelligent, you're wise, you're intuitive, you're a healer. Th this person has never met anybody like you before. You're meant to be in the spotlight. I think there's going to be this wow factor. And the only way the wow, yeah, this person's wanting to race in. They're, they're feeling a sexual drive towards you, Scorpio. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just take your time, you know. Don't have to say yes because you could be on your guard, okay? Queen of Swords. Mm, but they want to have teamwork and collaboration. They know that they were sneaky or they want to steal your heart away. Whoo baby for the ten of cups are you kidding me right now oh my god it's kind of like bringing up my it's making my dimple come out on my face oh show me the lovers show me the lovers just the two of us we can make it if we try just the two of us just the two of us oh yeah just the two of us some of you guys unexpectedly could get proposed to in the month of February. And I feel like it would come out of nowhere. Some of you might, your mouth may drop like a codfish, you know. <laughs> and for those of you who have been pushing for your passions, dreams, and goals... You're on the road to success, okay? That star card is here, you guys. Mm. Beautiful Aquarius energy helping to support us Scorpios to move forward, to give us passion, to give us energy, to give us life force. You know, Aquarius is the water bearer. Even though it's an air sign, Aquarius energy is connected with us you know, water signs because it's the water bearer. Water is like life force to us, wa to our us water uh, signs, to us Scorpios, and it is our sister, sister brother fixed sign. What is this Ace of Pentacles? Shall I sing just the two of us again? Oh, my God. Somebody's going to put in some time, energy, dedication, and devotion. And, Scorpio, for you guys that are entrepreneurs or you've been thinking about changing a job, okay, have a plan of action. Okay? Take it in baby steps. Step by step by step by step. And some of you guys are going to generate other avenues of income. Some of you guys have been doing cryptocurrency or Bitcoin, things like that, looking into stash. Acorns. I mean, you guys could be trying to figure out different ways to create more foundation structure and stability within your finances. But the universe, you place this focused intention, you will be rewarded. The moment you stop, game over. The game still keeps going. The end game, the end result, where you get to this status, okay? This is like millionaire, billionaire status. And it's not all impossible, you guys. If you've got something that you passionately believe in, do it. Because nobody else is going to do the work for you. Right? Uh-uh. Some of you guys, again, are in the music industry and picking up basketball, basketball, basketball. Somebody's son, somebody's very tall. Somebody could get a, I just heard the NBA. Somebody has goals or dreams or pursuits for the NBA. I don't know why spirit's pushing me out of my comfort zone to say that somebody, somebody's like a close friend, like a really tight close friend, who knows, could be watching, just going with the flow of the channeled messages. Uh, somebody's a very close friend uh, with LeBron James. Uh, I mean, we're talking close, like tight, you know, like tight friend. This is not just, you know, mutual friends, no. 
Um, some of you guys have been heavily also too thinking about Hollywood, going to California, despite everything going on, headshot pictures, going off to auditions. Mm hmm modeling career some of you guys have been thinking about New York City but I was picking up more strongly like California this video is going to end here pretty soon you guys there are a lot of messages a lot of channel downloads I haven't had a session like this in probably quite a while every now and then I get the channel messages off of the numbers but I kept feeling all of this I'm like okay push it out push it out push it out somebody is very protective over you Scorpio and there's some jealousy. Give me another message from the King of Swords real fast. Yeah, somebody feels backstabbed and betrayed or somebody is going to somebody that you know is going to get backstabbed and betrayed maybe possibly in a situation or a relationship. So, anyway, Scorpios, I'm out of here, but I'll be back before you know it.